Alright guys, Touch Cry back again today. Hope you're all doing well and enjoying your day so far. One of the more remarkable updates we've seen all season occurred yesterday, but that is not where the drama ended on day one of the Stage 5 Major. Slasher not particularly happy at all about the circumstances that have led to the situation Los Angeles thieves find themselves in. And treating your thoughts in the comment section below. Like if you guys enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new as always. I greatly appreciate it. I really have the channel. Thank you very much indeed for doing that. Of course, this was that crazy series yesterday. Atlanta Face versus Minnesota Rocker. Rocker come out on top. The of this are massive, especially with what the bracket looks like here. We'll have to look at it in a few minutes' time because it's very scary for the loser of the final series of the day, whoever that might potentially be. Also, this I mean, on this day yesterday, a couple of years ago now, Team Caliber won season two of the CWL. I mean, what a team this was. Honestly, a neighbor like had so many phenomenal results and tournaments, um, yeah, tournament victory started his career, but maybe doesn't get quite the credit he deserved. Then had a horrible year on Seattle Surge last season, then just retires. So, I'm kind of crazy to think about, to be honest, especially during this kind of era 2018 2019 even the jetpack era as well and Abel was great even when he subbed in for optic that time for karma when the whole visa situation wasn't quite figured out but of course now he's kind of uh, the content creator or whatever over at hundred thieves and their first map would look really really good up against toronto ultra so toronto as of late haven't been looking um well quite as good as they were for a time this is probably the most vulnerable they have been since way back in stage two to be honest of course they lost to dallas just the other day their hard points aren't looking great the thing is really with the ultra right now is their smg duo doesn't seem to fire at the same time like you never seem to get a series from Vance and a series from Kleenex both where they're popping off but um you can get that from their ARs as we do right here which is kind of what carries them through as of late so I think that um, they're going to play Optic later today and I think that's really where Optic have to um, hope for their advantage right is that Dashi and uh, Formal can shut down Kami and Insight and then hope that uh, you know Scump and Envoy get the better of Vance and Kleenex I think that's probably going to be the way to go but here in the hard points Thieves actually got the better of them this game one was um pretty comfortable in the end but game two was completely the other way around. A 6-0, you know, just complete demolishment from Toronto Ultra on Los Angeles Thieves on a Moscow Search and Destroy where I'm pretty sure Slasher had lost all season, which is a kind of crazy to think about but uh, Toronto are obviously very good at that map doesn't really matter how you lose, if it's a 6-0 or it's a 6-5, it's still a map loss at the end of the day, so they just kind of brush it off, they try and come back, but um, Toronto's control has been very good indeed, they take that one, they move up 2-1 in the series, but then it's the game 4 where Slasher, back in a LAN environment we really haven't seen much of Slasher this stage online, and um, he comes to LAN here and uh, I mean we look we're expecting a solid series of him no doubt this map he really did turn up you can see the five kill streak comes through he gets full streaks and that's enough just about to close out Los Angeles thieves and send it all the way to a game five in this series so um, yeah ultra losing two hard points in the series but again the problem is for Los Angeles thieves if you want to be a championship contender you've got to win search and destroy and control is obviously also a very important mode right we saw the phase despite them um, getting completely outplayed quite frankly in well in at least the two hard points that they played against the Minnesota Rocker they're phenomenal control at least keeps them in contention with the series and gives them a great chance of going all the way to the game five didn't happen in the end but um still a very solid game mode like that and also being very solid in search and destroy like phase r definitely gives you a great opportunity to close out some of the closest series you're going to play but if your themes right here you don't quite have that capability as Austin says right there you know Austin dead screw it i will do it myself and this was the game five a very interesting one because um we see this line of sight come out underneath the optic van here from inside over towards kenny on the a bomb site kind of cool stuff that um these guys are bringing into the party definitely an angle that um, I'm pretty sure like I was aware that this might be a possibility but um, yeah I, I thought it'd be kind of tough to see this guy honestly all the way but there were loads of rounds right here where Los Angeles Thieves felt like they had an advantage they were in a great position to close out the round or at least um, trade something out and then they just throw away their lives they're planting in the wrong spots people are flying around corners and taking shells for no reason and they're losing rounds that they should be winning or at least um, yeah 50-50 rounds that they then throw away and well Cami just went off this final map he's honestly been so so good for this team I did talk about about it a couple of videos ago now the possibility of crim6 seems to really really rate this guy and uh, we don't know exactly what contract he's on is he um have they extended his deal like what's going on over there because i'm pretty sure like when he was initially signed it was um, on that 10-man roster right last season and you may well imagine that he would be on a very low salary which means he could be a very hot prospect in the off season if teams want to try and snap him up especially if ultra don't uh, you know win this event in the world championships you might well consider that team decides to go in a slightly different direction at least uh, well depending on the money that's on the line but 
the championship mentality. Toronto get the job done 6 3 in the end, but um, very much a search and destroy again. Like both searches, they got kind of uh, outplayed in. But this final one, like so many mistakes that um, did go the way of Los Angeles Thieves, and they lose the series in a 3 2. Pretty much what I think most people would have predicted, to be honest, coming into this series. Cami absolutely went off. Easy Bantz has a 0.7, Clinix has a 1.13. So the SMG duo not always firing on all cylinders. Slasher had a great series, no doubt, and it's enticing Cami that combined for plus 24 over the course of it as Toronto managed to get the job done. As Slasher says, initially, you know, much more polished team right now, unfortunately, losing 2 3 5. And um, honestly, their chances now for winner's bracket spots for, well, obviously for this tournament to out of the window, but also for the World Championship is very important indeed. We'll have a look at it in a second. As Nameless says, look, Thieves just blew that. They really should have won that game five. Insane clutches from the Ultra guys, though. GG's, a very incredible series, no doubt about it. As Kenny says, look, trolled GG's Ultra, we lost 3 2. Draza says this, trolled that one very hard indeed. We even get this from Nadejot. We really threw that down, like, so bad. I mean, he really gets into these series, right? And I mean, yeah, some people would say owners shouldn't do this, but I think it's cool to see the passion, right? And show that Nadejot cares to the point where, like, if this team isn't performing, serious changes are going to be made in the future, I'm sure. You're not winning on LAN if you don't have the ice game five search and destroy you know um yeah search and destroy wins championships as i'm pretty sure it was nature who first said every single player on our team knows that hoping we can bring it back in the losers bracket but this is what slasher has to say we actually had online gameplay that counted and impacted careers for the last two years lost full just thinking about it of course from one angle like there were so many people that when the pandemic hit lost their jobs and were found themselves in really difficult times call of duty players to some degree have been very lucky that their job has been able to continue but of course the online stuff has not been ideal for anyone slasher especially players that are you know land veterans that have had to deal with online the last couple of years playing out of california right with ultra game in los angeles this year moving to texas still didn't really seem to help them too much with how the online stuff has infected impacted their gameplay right and now it puts them in a very difficult predicament i'm sure slasher thinks look look at me perform on land i'm dropping a 1.10 against a great team i'm playing great i'm you know, getting streaks all the time and um yeah how much is that actually okay yeah i'm a better player in a land environment how much is that mental right like when you're playing online because slasher really has been um well he's been pretty tragic this entire stage to be honest throughout stage five regular season he had a 0.58 against Paris when they lost that series and the other series he's been around a 0.8 to be honest 0 0.8 0 0.9 which I'm not what you'd expect for your main assault rifle comes to land and immediately you know comes above the 1kd for the first time this entire season no surprises there but how much is that in his own head right and how much is that um, you know actually him just being better in the land environment and of course very frustrated no doubt about it losing full thinking about it says slasher and of course the implications of this I mean the online stuff obviously hasn't been ideal but um you know the best teams have adapted and, and gotten on with it and who knows exactly what happens next season as well with the regular season whether that goes back to a land environment in you know mlg columbus studios like they used to do right if they'll do a similar thing in texas who really knows it it's very tough to say something that of course you've got to get used to and um well sasha's frustration is understandable but still i mean especially so because they now find themselves in a, in a particularly difficult spot but you know the online gameplay they played this stage they gave themselves a chance right they had a chance right here against toronto to win this one and make a run to win the major now um you know they've kind of thrown away that chance in a sense especially in that game five but this is really where it comes to fruition because minnesota rocker with that series victory yesterday against phase they're now going to be at least on 240 points actually they're going to be much better than that so we'll look at it in a second but you can see thieves are on 210 minnesota rocker on 230 so there's already a 20 point margin between these two squads which means that thieves have to do incredibly well here for the rest of the weekend because these are the prize pool and the, and the point standings really so even if minnesota rocker they lose to um, i'm pretty sure if they lose to dallas they would then play los angeles these thieves if thieves win through the losers brackets so even if um even if rocker lose both their series they'll play sixth and have 30 points at the very least so that'll put them on 260 that means thieves have to get at least 50 points so they'll have to come at least third in this tournament effectively to overhaul minnesota rocker so a big ask for thieves to the losers bracket especially because atlanta phase are down there right so i think the reality of them not playing in the winners bracket of the world championship is starting to set in for slasher and the guys on los angeles thieves of course it's still possible they do manage to make it work for the rest of the weekend if minnesota rocker lose and they go absolutely off on the main stage through the lower side but um yeah i think the frustrations of the online season are coming back to bite them here really with uh, the seeming that they're not going to actually make the winner's bracket for the world championship which of course um pretty much chalks up your chance of winning from day one but not necessarily we'll have to see our phase fair of course in the lower brackets later on today this i thought was funny from subliners at least they're consistent you drop all of these players over the last couple of seasons you receive another disappointing season for los angeles grillers no doubt afro has been a breath of fresh air in such an destroy for the Ravens he's going to play later today up against the Seattle Surge thought of some pretty incredible stats here percentage of times that a player gets a kill in a round Afro is leading the way in the statistics right now round 11 subs absolutely beautiful stuff this is the bracket as it stands four games to play later today 
The lower bracket, I think, is particularly interesting. So Thieves will play the winner of Subliners and Mutineers. FaZe will play the winner of Surge and Ravens. And FaZe, if, well, let's say Surge win this. Let's say FaZe win that one. They will then play the loser of Optic versus Toronto Ultra, I'm pretty sure. So this series is massive for both of these teams, no doubt. But um, Optic especially, right? You don't really want to come into a tourney, have to lose to Ultra, and then lose to FaZe straight away and go out in a top six fashion. That's not the tournament result you want. But as I said, I think that Optic have what it takes here to get the better of Ultra. They haven't been looking absolutely superb as of late and um, well continue to make a run but phase I mean already this lower bracket is scary no doubt with phase down here thieves down here looking to try and make something happen because um their backs are most certainly against the wall right now are uh, well Los Angeles thieves as I said trying to still make the winners bracket for the world championship which is still possible these are the four games on the day not ideal for European fans really with optic versus ultra being last up I think the video is probably going to be quite a late one but uh, we'll see how that one goes but uh, yeah Ravens versus Surge if Surge continue what they did last stage right and come out and win this series because they did the same thing last time right beating Paris and beating Ravens at the last major on LAN they're probably going to do the same thing again if they can win this series but I think Ravens are slightly more of a threat now than they were before but Seattle did look very good yesterday up against Paris then Florida versus New York I honestly don't have I mean mutinies are very inconsistent but I don't really see much fight from New York in this series because I mean obviously they're going to fight to some degree but they weren't great yesterday no doubt against Los Angeles Grillers and um, I think the mutineers are a more solid team and uh, well they're looking to bounce back from a difficult time and still make something happen through the lower brackets then Empire versus is Rocker. When they played this past stage, Empire came out on top. I think they might do so again. But Rocker have been absolutely on fire these last few days, so that's a very interesting series. I see a Game 5 written all over that one. And then Optic versus Ultra. If Optic can close this out more comfortably than a Game 5, I'd be pretty impressed. But again, I, I feel like this series is going to go the distance and it's tough to call. But I think that Optic, if they are firing at all cylinders, will probably get the better of Ultra. But it is, well, as I say, it's difficult to predict right now. Honestly, this tournament is so wide in the open with phase in the lower bracket. Anyone can win this. It's been a fair bit of time since we got a tournament with storylines this exciting. Very much intriguing your thoughts on all this in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, I'd greatly appreciate a like on the video. I really helps out the YouTube record and I do enjoy this content. Other people like you may enjoy this content as well. And I'm growing the competitive quality of the community. Thank you for watching as always. Take care. And I will see you next time. What's going on, family? Come and see the little area we got going on here with the boys. So... We're just going to start off right away with the video. I just want to make this a little short and sweet. So right here, we got the setups where we're going to begin. We're going to begin our good reps in. Um, obviously, four monitors, just the default stuff. We got short in the corner. We got another setup there for whatever reason. I don't know, but that's what it is. We got a little pizza table here that I've been absolutely obliterating the competition here. So I want to add that part in that I probably am the best CDL pro ping pong. I can back it up too. Who's ball table? Lounge area in the corner. Um, pretty... I mean, it's definitely up here for the last time, for sure. Our other setup was pretty uh, generic, I would say. So, uh, CD left me hook it up, but yeah, that's pretty much it.